soil. Introduction Soil is the topmost layer of the earth's crust. It is the natural habitat of many creatures and also the source of plant life. It is one of the most important natural resource. There are some regions on the earth where soil is not present. These regions are the Arctic and the Antarctic. The reason behind it being the thick layer of ice which covers the land. Soil is formed by the weathering of rocks. Weathering which is the process of breaking down of the rocks as a result of change in temperature and other factors like rain and wind. Since soil is formed as a result of breaking down of the rocks, it largely contains minerals. Soil also contains vegetable or organic matter called humus. Thus, soil contains minerals, water, air and humus. Soil also contains tiny organisms like bacteria, fungi, algae and tiny creatures like worms and insects also live in the soil. The organisms like earthworms and other worms and insects help in burrowing the soil and thereby aerating it. All the organisms living in the soil are often referred to as biota. Soil Profile The vertical section of the soil showing different layers of it is known as soil profile. There are different horizons of soil such as topsoil, subsoil, parent rock and bedrock. A Horizon Topsoil the uppermost layer of the earth is known as a horizon or topsoil. The major content of this section is humus. This makes it generally blackish brown in color. The topsoil is soft and porous. It has a good water retaining capacity. It is a habitat of many tiny organisms. B horizon subsoil. Being the second layer from the top, it is relatively harder and compact. It is generally light red or grain color. It largely contains stone and sand particles that makes it unfit for the plants. The organic matter is less that makes it less fertile. Sea horizon parent rock. This is the region below the subsoil. It is the lowermost layer of the soil. There is no organic matter in this layer. It contains parent material through which the soil is formed by the weathering process. This region is hard and cannot be easily dug. This layer stores water over it and makes the water table. This layer is also called substratum. Soil that is formed from it is called residual soil. This layer of the soil is infertile. R horizon. Below the C horizon is a layer of hard rock called bedrock or R horizon. Water cannot penetrate through the bedrock. Take a glass container and put a handful of garden soil in it. Add some water in the container and shake the container for a little while. Allow the soil to settle down by leaving the setup undisturbed in a safe place. Observe carefully the different layers of soil. At the bottom will be a layer of gravel. Above this will be a layer of sand and silt. The top layer consists of clay. The humus being lighter than water floats on the water. Types of soil particles. Soil contains particles of different sizes and shapes. It also contains substances that make the soil fertile. Broadly speaking, there are four types of particles in the soil. They are clay. These are the smallest particles which are soft and smooth. Their size is very small around 0.005 millimeters. They have very less air spaces between them. Their capacity to retain water is commendable. Apart from having a very good water retention capacity, they also contain a good quantity of humus. Silt. The particles of silt are bigger than clay particles. They are generally found in the river beds. The size of these particles is around 0.005 to 0.05 mm. Sand. These particles are much larger in comparison to clay and silt. They have a very poor water retaining capacity. They are rough to touch. The size of these particles vary between 0.05 to 0.2 mm. Sand is not quite ideal for the growth of plants. Gravel. Gravel are the small size stones present in the soil. Their size is more than 0.2 mm. 
Top soil is a mixture of all the above varieties of soil particles. A good soil is a mixture of all the above types of soil particles along with humus. Apart from soil particles, the other components of soil are humus. The dead and decaying remains of plants and animals present in soil is known as humus. Humus is significant because it makes the soil fertile as it contains all the nutrients required by the plant for their proper growth. It also improves the water holding capacity of the soil. Moreover, it provides food to living organisms present in soil like earthworms, millipedes, etc. Living Organisms Many living organisms like earthworms, insects, bacteria, etc. live in the soil. Air The gaps between the soil particles are filled with air. Living organisms present in soil use this air for respiration. Water In between the soil particles, water is present which allows the plants to grow. Based on the proportion of various particles, the soils can be classified into Sandy soil It has a lot of sand in it and very little silt and clay. It cannot hold much water as water drains quickly through large spaces between sand particles. It is found in deserts. This type of soil is not suited for the growth of plants. Clay soil It mostly contains clay. Water drains through very slowly since the particles are very small and tightly packed. It does not trap enough air for the roots of the plant. It can hold water very well and is easily waterlogged. It is rich in minerals which make it good for the growth of plants. It is good for crops like paddy which require large amount of water. Loamy soil It is a mixture of sand, silt and clay and also has humus in it. It is the best soil for growing plants as it has adequate space between soil particles to trap air. Composition of soil Soil contains both organic as well as inorganic matter. Inorganic matter include various minerals that are present in the soil. It also contains nitrates, sulfates, phosphates apart from substances like iron, sodium, potassium, magnesium, etc. When these substances get mixed up with the weathered parent rock, the resultant is what we call the soil. The organic matter of the soil mainly consists of humus. It is the decomposed product of plants and animals. Apart from these, soil also contains air, water, microbes and many small insects. Worms and insects also live in the soil. They help in improving the fertility of the soil. Worms eat soil and excrete the same. The excreted soil is seen on the surface of the earth as worm casts. Soil in India India has a variety of soil depending on their texture, colour and composition. Black soil This soil is black in colour formed by the weathering of volcanic rocks. It is good for growing cotton. It is found in Maharashtra, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Karnataka, Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. Alluvial soil. This soil is very fertile. It is best suited for the growth of wheat and rice. It is made rich by the alluvium present by the rivers. This soil is found in the northern plains mainly in the states of Punjab, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar and West Bengal. Red soil. This soil is red in colour due to the presence of iron oxide. It may be gravelly or loamy. The soil is not very fertile. It is found in Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, Odisha, Jharkhand and West Bengal. Laterite soil. This soil is reddish or yellowish in colour. It is poor in nutrients. It is found in eastern and western ghats. The soil is good for the growth of tea, coffee, rubber and coconut. Desert soil. It is sandy soil which cannot hold water. It is found in Rajasthan. Growth of wheat, cotton and fruits is possible here with suitable arrangements of irrigation. Mountain soil. It is found in Himalayan region. It is rich in humus. It is often acidic which makes it unfit for proper cultivation. Soil erosion. The top soil can be carried away easily by wind or washed away by flowing water. This process of carrying away of top soil by natural forces like water and wind is called Soil Erosion Causes of Soil Erosion Overgrazing by Animals Large-scale cutting of trees, deforestation 
improper farming practices, heavy rains or floods, forest fire, prevention of soil erosion, growing more trees on a large scale, afforestation, as trees hold soil, prevent floods and also slow down the flow of water of floods, flood control, allowing restricted animal grazing, following terrace farming.